Hey, OAC family and uh, any others who are joining me for Tuesday Talks, welcome to Tuesday Talks with Craig. It is 12 o'clock on Tuesday, which is uh, typically when uh, I share these Tuesday Talks. Um, so some of you might be joining uh, live and some might see this later whenever you are watching this. Uh, hopefully this will be a time of encouragement for you. Uh, it's a really snowy day here in Okotoks. I uh, woke up this morning and uh, there was a lot more snow than I was expecting to see outside. Spent some time shoveling uh, the driveway and then got here to the church and spent some time shoveling here and I'm looking outside thinking I probably need to go back out soon and do some more shoveling. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a snowy day and uh, we welcome the snow, although it's always a bit of a shock. And I, if you keep you know, seeing me look, I'm looking out the window right now, just sort of it's white everywhere. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the snow if you're in the Okotoks area. And I've been seeing uh, pictures uh, out in Ontario of people golfing this week, and I'm a little bit jealous, I must say. Um, but uh, wherever you are, uh, hopefully you're enjoying uh, the weather that you've been given, whatever it is. This morning, as I was kind of thinking about what to share uh, for Tuesday talk, I was finding myself at a bit of a loss and uh, just kind of was feeling, it was kind of one of those blue sort of mornings, just feeling a little blue. And uh, we had a, a prayer meeting here at the church and um, uh, just kind of got thinking, you know what, we pray for our church every Tuesday morning. We have a, a group that meets here and prays. And, and I thought, you know, maybe on Tuesday talk today, I should pray for whoever it is that's watching or viewing, um, just kind of pray over you. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Uh, in a little bit of a strange way and uh, hopefully you'll receive that today and the prayer that I want to pray over you is the prayer from Ephesians chapter 3 and I've talked about uh, a group a micro group that I'm a part of and we went through the book of Ephesians through the summer and this prayer that Paul prays for the the believers in Ephesus and scattered around uh, Ephesus um, this prayer that he prayed for them has stuck with me uh, it's one that I've heard, you know, numbers of times over the years, but as we kind of went through it this summer, it really grabbed me um, that we often just don't live in the experience of what Paul is praying for these believers. Um, and so I'll maybe just start with a couple questions before I pray, but do you ever have days where you just feel powerless? Uh, maybe the circumstances that you're facing are overwhelming. Uh, maybe the sense of the resources you have within yourself you just wonder if you've got what it takes to make it through the day. And uh, I've had days like that where you just kind of wonder, how am I going to make it? And I just would really rather go back to bed. Uh, sometimes that's just what our days are like. And hopefully you don't have too many of those. But, uh, but if you do, um, you know, have you ever felt that way? Felt powerless? As I was shoveling the you know, snow this morning, there was a part of me feeling a little powerless, like I need to be working out a little bit more. Um, but more, you know, on a serious note, do you ever feel that way? And I know many of you are going through challenges, um, and there might be days where you're feeling powerless. Um, even in the current reality of what we're living in with COVID, and here in Alberta, we received some more uh, restrictions or recommendations on how to live in our current reality. And sometimes that has us feeling a little anxious, maybe a little powerless. Um, and so whatever, you know, circumstances you're facing or whatever you're feeling within, uh, maybe you can relate to that sense of feeling powerless. Uh, the other question I would ask is, do you ever feel unloved? Do you ever feel like maybe you're not wanted? Uh, maybe you don't belong anywhere? Um, if you're feeling powerless or unloved, or if you've ever felt powerless or unloved, this prayer, I believe, uh, is going to speak to your heart today. And so I want to pray this literally word for word the way Paul prayed for the believers in Ephesus. I'm going to pray that over you. And I just invite you to receive as I pray this prayer, uh, receive this prayer for you. So let me pray. Uh, I pray that out of his glorious riches, that's God's glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power 
together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. That's Ephesians chapter 3, uh, verses 16 to 21, if you want to go back and read it later. And, uh, and I would encourage you to read it, uh, and read it as a prayer being prayed over you, like the Apostle Paul is praying over you, or like maybe I've just prayed over you. Um, read it as a, a prayer for you, and I want to just highlight a couple things out of that. If you're ever feeling powerless, this prayer is that God's power would be um, at work in you. And we have the Holy Spirit living within us. I know sometimes we just we ignore that reality, but the Holy Spirit dwells within us. God's power, his resources are within us. And so this prayer is to sort of awaken us to the reality that God's that God's power is present in our lives. And the prayer is that we would have power to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love in an intimate way, in an experiential way, not just a head knowledge way, but to know in our hearts that we are loved by Christ and to know uh, this love and then to be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So to, to live in this reality that God's power is at work in and through us, that God loves us immensely, and that uh, we are to live sort of out of this fullness of God within us. So again, I just pray that over you, that you would be filled to the full measure of all the fullness of God, that you would know his power and his love in your life and whatever it is you're facing today or in the days to come that you would know that God's given you the resources from within to walk through your circumstances to handle your circumstances to know his presence and power in your life and his love that you belong to him you matter to him he he cares for you deeply and he cares about the things going on in your lives and uh, and he wants to go through it with you so as you go about the rest of this Tuesday, whether you're shoveling more snow or uh, if you're out on a golf course in Ontario, uh, know that God is with you, that his power resides in you and his love is over you and uh, will never leave you. Um, so I would encourage you to read that again, Ephesians 3 verses 16 to 21, and just receive that as a prayer over you. So blessings on you today and the rest of this week, and we'll see you again next Tuesday for another Tuesday Talk. Thanks for joining me.